If you're like me, then you know Batman's key weapon is his utility belt. This thing can hold a massive collection of things, and today I want to go over what things we've seen in Batman's utility belt throughout his lifetime. But before we move forward, I need to let you know about the sponsor for this video. Gemmer is a collection app that allows you to put your collection on the app so that you can meet other collectors that share your passion. Now, I've promoted these guys before, and that's because I simply love the idea behind this app. And even though my time is pretty blocked up, making it hard for me to maintain my account on a regular basis, I am on the app along with a lot of your favorite collection YouTubers. To make these even better with this app, it's free, and if you join today using the link down below, you'll get an entry for this Batman statue every time you add something to your collection. It's that simple. A collection app, you sign up, win a Batman statue, and if you're watching this video after the contest date, it's still a great app to track your collection. Click the link down below and let's move on to Batman's own collection, his utility belt. Now before we begin, I want to make you aware of a simple thing that I discovered while going through this list. Batman has a lot of things in his belt, and he's always finding new things to put in there. This is as complete as I could make it, so if you know any of the things that I missed, and I know I missed a few, let me know in the comments down below. The utility belt was first introduced in Detective Comics number 29, which sets it all the way back to 1939. And no, we're not going to explain how he gets all of these things into that belt. It's comic book magic! And to start off the list, we'll go with the most memorable item to put into the belt, the Batarang! This is the most common item in the bat belt. It's a variation of the boomerang, but it looks like a bat, and there are versions of it for everything, from explosive batarangs to ones that you can ride. Bat darts are next, and those are normally tranquilizers used to knock out people, but he has filled them up with things like antidotes and other serums. Bat Goo Gun is a foam that he uses to stick people and objects to the wall. I think a lot of people will also remember the explosive gel variation from the Arkham games. Bat Lasso is literally a rope that he fires to trap villains as they try to run away. Maybe he got the idea for this one from Wonder Woman? Bat Stun Gun! Its name says it all. It stuns people. I think Harper Rowe brought it to a whole new level in the latest Batman books with her giant stun gun. Bat Flamethrower is a miniature flamethrower. Not much more to say here. It, uh, makes fire. Bat Flashbang Grenades are flashbang grenades in his belt. They stun and disorient their target. Bat Tear Gas Pellets is tear gas, and it makes you feel really bad and want to cry. It also gives you itchy eyes and makes your whole face basically explode. Bat EMP Grenade. This one is a small grenade that knocks out electronics. Now, I don't think I've seen it happen, and maybe someone can confirm, but why doesn't it knock out all the gadgets in his own belt? Bat Cutting Torch. This is a cutting torch to get him through metal. Bat Claw, or Bat Grappling Gun. It's the grappling gun that he uses to swing around like Tarzan in a Batman costume. Bat cuffs. These are bat-shaped handcuffs. Bat heater. A small bat-shaped tool to heat things and melt ice. Bat light. It's a flashlight that he put the word bat in front of. Line launcher. This fires a rope between two points and allows Batman to cross it. It's another one that we get to use a lot of times in the Arkham games. Bat rope. It's like a super rope that is super resistant. Bat saw. It's a saw that he put the word bat in front of. Cryptographic sequencer. This is a tool that he uses in the Arkham games to crack passwords and shut down various electrical fields. Collapsible Bat Sword! This is a sword that, from what I've read, is apparently as strong as a lightsaber, allowing him to cut into things. Bat Grapple! This differs from the Bat Claws that allows him to scale large surfaces. Bat Bombs! These are bombs that he put the word bat in front of. Lock Picks! It's in the name. It picks locks. Master Bat Key! It's a skeleton key that Batman put the word bat in front of. Night Vision Bat Goggles. Guess what this is? Night Vision, that Batman put the word bat in the name of. Holy nightmare! Rebreather! This is a tool that allows him to breathe underwater. Thermite Grenades! A device that is used to burn through things. Bat Evidence Bags! These are plastic bags that I put the word bat in front of. Fingerprint Dusting Kit! This one is a small kit to dust for fingerprints. Go figure, huh? Bat Call! Batman can use this to summon bats to his side. Bat Tracer, a tool used to locate things. Bat Bluetooth, it's actually labeled a communication device in his ear on all of these sources that I found, but wouldn't Bat Bluetooth be a cooler name for this? Energy Deflector, he can repel energy-based weapons with this one. First Aid Kit, I guess we all assumed that it had to be in there. Kryptonite Ring, yep, he has a lead lace pouch or something that has a ring in case he fights Kryptonians. Bat Camera, we're going to assume that it's a 4K camera. Microprocessor Power Source. It's a power source to regulate microprocessors so that he can power computers. Bat Toolkit. It's a toolkit, and it's miniature. Smoke Grenades. It makes smoke so that Batman can vanish into the night. 
Shark repellent. Holy fruit salad. It repels sharks. I'm not even joking. This was in the 1960s show, and he uses it when he needs to fight off sharks. Sonic Bat Beacon! Another device to attract nearby bats. This one can be left behind if he needs to get the bats somewhere else. Shock Gloves! Another non-lethal charge that he puts into his punches to knock out enemies. Another one of the items used in the Arkham games. Bolas! Same thing as the lasso, but a more updated version. Bat Laser! Another cutting tool, because you know he already didn't have a crap ton in there. He might as well just start using that bat lightsaber thing all the time. Napalm! It's a substance that lights on fire, burning whatever he needs to burn. Freeze grenades! He took the technology from Mr. Freeze and made it into a grenade. This one is used in the Arkham games. And let's end this list with the best one that I found. Wool socks! Batman had wool socks in issue 163 that he unraveled and tied to a fork to make a miniature grappling hook out of. There's also a couple of weird ones that I saw mentioned, such as Bat Female Villain Repellent and the Bat Poon, which is a harpoon gun, but it's called Bat Poon, you know, because I don't think he thought about that one very much. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I know I missed some stuff. He's got everything in that belt, and that's one of the wonderful things about Batman. The writers use this belt to pretty much answer any problem that he comes across. So let me know in the comments down below what your favorite items that you've seen him use in the past are. And if you enjoyed this list, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more, like this video for more lists just like this, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Comic Story, and I'll see you next time right here.